Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's Opportunity Briefing for Flexera's flagship product, Admin Studio. My name is Kyle LaForge. I'm an account executive here at Lifeboat Distribution, and we are a proud distributor of Flexera's innovative line of software. It is a privilege for Lifeboat to host today's presentation, and I'd like to thank you all for attending. Today's presentation will address the fastest way to application migration for Windows 7 and application virtualization for Microsoft App V, VMware, Spin App, and Citrix, Citrix Zen App. We are confident you'll see today how you can formulate a smart approach to application migration for your customers that will reduce cost and complexity for them while creating opportunity and growing profits for your business. I know your time is valuable, so let me get right into the introductions for our main panelists. Joining me on the panel today from Flexera is Mike O'Connor, Product Specialist for Admin Studio, and Jerry King, Channel Manager for the Americas and APAC. Thank you all for your participation and welcome. Before I turn the presentation over to our main panelists, I'd like you to know that we do encourage you to ask questions, and you may do that by entering your questions in the Q&A panel on the right-hand side of the screen. At the conclusion of the presentation, we will answer as many questions as time permits. I also wanted to mention that if you have any questions about selling Admin Studio internationally, you can contact your Lifeboat sales rep to get details about selling the product in your region. With that, I will turn the presentation over to Mike and Jerry. Thanks so much, Kyle. Um, I want to thank everyone uh, very quickly for uh, taking time out of their schedules and joining us here for our presentation. Uh, I'd like for each and every one of you to keep in mind what your, uh, your customer base uh, is uh, not only from uh, resellers, uh, but also from the standpoint of uh, your uh, system integrators. This is, has a broad reaching, uh, has a very broad range, and it's not just limited uh, to uh, either small organizations or large organizations. So with that, let me get started. Uh, so a brief overview of who we are. Uh, you might have known us under another name, because in the last uh, four years we've changed names three times. Uh, we are Flexera Software. We are the makers of Install Shield, Install Anywhere, Admin Studio, and Workflow Manager. We have our main uh, headquarters here in uh, the Chicagoland area. We're right outside Chicago, 30 miles northwest of uh, Chicago in a little village called Schaumburg. We've also got offices located in Santa Clara, California, uh, in Tokyo, Japan, and over in EMEA in uh, Cheshire, which is just north of uh, Liverpool. Uh, on average, we have about uh, annual revenue about 150 million, and uh, we're just over 400 plus employees. Now, uh, what we make, uh, Flexair Software makes uh, solutions designed to facilitate software installations and help enterprises streamline their infrastructure and reduce costs through application management. Uh, we have two families of products that we make uh, available through the channel. Uh, the first is our installer. Uh, family, and uh, most people out there probably know us from Install Shield. Uh, it's the number one commercial solution used to author reliable software installations for Windows platforms and uh, multiple platforms such as Solaris, Mac OS, Unix, and Linux. Uh, the main focus here is in our second family of products, Admin Studio and Workflow Manager. Uh, Admin Studio is a, essentially a solution used to prepare virtual and MSI packages for error-free rollout with leading deployment solutions such as uh, SCCM, Zenworks, Tivoli, Marimba, uh, and uh, of course focusing on OS migration. Um, now a sister uh, unit to uh, Admin Studio is something we call Workflow Manager, and this is essentially a web-based tool used to manage the workflow involved with enterprise management activities. So let's jump into it. Admin Studio, what is it? Uh, well, in a nutshell, uh, Admin Studio is essentially the centerpiece of our application readiness solution, which uh, essentially helps system administrators prepare applications for deployment, maximize productivity, and avoid DLL conflicts between applications within an enterprise. Now, I'm, I'm not sure how technically savvy everyone is on the call here, but um, DLL conflicts and uh, application conflicts, uh, they pose a serious concern uh, for IT departments everywhere, uh, due in large part to the fact that the results of application conflicts can be, in some cases, absolutely catastrophic for uh, an enterprise. Uh, what we're talking about here is uh, the application cease to work, and this has a direct result on uh, the production, and from there we're talking about loss of revenue. 
Um, and this really shines a light on the purpose and the focus of Admin Studio and our application readiness uh, solution. Uh, what we're talking about here is application management. And application management um, has become more critical to the success of organizations now more so than ever before, due in large part because it has a direct effect on an organization's ability to meet their business needs and grow. And to that point, uh, a lot of organizations today are starting to realize that they need a strategy for application management. And the strategy is needed not just for the sake of managing the applications themselves, but also dealing with the changes and the challenges that new technologies bring to them. And uh, to that point, let's take a look at some of the, the more compelling uh, things that organizations are concerned with. Uh, top of the list, uh, large-scale platform migrations like Windows 7. Um, there are significant projects that can be uh, expensive and complex, and I think it's um, easily said that uh, today uh, one of the most compelling events is, in fact, this Windows 7 migration. Um, a lot of uh, the organizations that take a closer look at us do so because they are themselves considering um, moving to Windows 7. Now, uh, routine application deployments are continually required regardless of whether or not an organization has planned or has executed a Windows 7 migration. They still have to go back and have a uh, repeatable process by which they can uh, deploy their applications successfully. You know, 30% of an organization's ap applications require updating, repackaging, and deployment on an annual basis. Um, uh, User-centric uh, computing environments increase application life uh, cycle management complexity. Well, in a nutshell, what we're talking about here is it's becoming increasingly difficult to ma uh, manually prepare applications for deployment. Uh, and what we're talking about here ultimately is an organization's bandwidth. Uh, do they have the resources available to go back in and manually prepare applications for deployment? More often than not, uh, the, uh, the answer to that question is no, they don't. Uh, there's also pressure exists to migrate applications and adopt new technologies quickly. I think we've all seen the, the rise of uh, virtualization uh, over the course of the last few years. It's gone from server virtualization and now it's up to application virtualization. Uh, it's important to keep up with these uh, new technologies. And of course, preparing applications for deployment can be a time-consuming, risky, and manual task. Again, getting back to this idea of bandwidth. Um, there's also the lack of best practices um, process. Uh, it creates a decentralized approach uh, to application management. And not having a uh, strategy or the absence of a strategy or a solution to meet that strategy can prove to be a recipe for disaster for any organization. So, Taking a closer look at uh, application readiness and what it is that we're doing in, in this space, I have uh, Mike O'Connor with me, and I think at this point it's a perfect point to turn over uh, the slide deck to, to him and uh, let him uh, run with it. Uh, he can provide us all with a deeper understanding of what exactly it is we're doing in this space. Okay, thanks, Jerry. So our application readiness solutions are made up of uh, several pieces. Uh, first, you have the main base admin studio product. Uh, as we've talked about before, you can prepare applications uh, for deployment by getting them into the MSI or the Windows installer format. That's the uh, native uh, format uh, for Windows and uh, for installation. So we can prepare packages to get them into MSIs, be able to customize them through the use of our install shield tool. So the install shield is the editor tool inside of admin studio. Um, be able to customize those, be able to test those applications against one another for different types of conflicts, and then be able to pass that off to a distribution system, uh, whatever the end user is using, and we work with them, uh, several different distribution systems. And we can also get some uh, reporting on what type of applications are out there and be able to present that information up to uh, higher management within an organization. So on top of Admin Studio, you can add our what we call our virtualization pack. So the virtualization technology added on top of Admin Studio it's still within the full Admin Studio tool. It's just an additional functionality that adds on to Admin Studio. And this is where we can prepare applications for application virtualization. So we can scan applications and tell you if they're good candidates for virtualization. Um, and then we can actually create those virtualization formats. And we've partnered with the big three virtualization vendors out there, Microsoft, VMware, and Citrix, and being able to prepare and create, uh, test and create um, applications 
in their formats, uh, and we can do that uh, a lot of times in an automated fashion, and also get reporting based off of that as well. What can also be added onto the Base Admin Studio, and possibly with the virtualization pack as well, is our application compatibility pack. So this adds additional functionality as well to Admin Studio. This allows a, an organization to be able to test applications uh, for compatibility with Windows 7. Uh, we also do 64-bit, so a lot of uh, organizations moving to Windows 7 are also doing hardware refreshes or moving to a 64-bit um, platform space, so we can test applications specifically uniquely for 64-bit as well. We also do Server 2008 and uh, Internet Explorer 8 testing, so we can test applications that heavily use Internet Explorer, as well as we can actually scan web pages and tell you if, uh, say, your company's intranet is going to work with Internet Explorer 8, and if not, we can tell you what the issues are going to be in terms of JavaScript issues or AJAX issues or mixed modes. There's a lot of different issues that uh, uh, weren't issues with Internet Explorer 6 back on Windows XP, but now moving to Windows 7, part of that is moving the browser as well. So being able to test for applications and websites that work with uh, the latest Internet Explorer is also important. And we also have Workflow Manager as another tool uh, that we sell that's part of our application readiness solution can closely work with Admin Studio and allows an organization to um, uh, break out or, or, or um, establish a set of rules within an organization, uh, be able to uh, encapsulate those rules in a workflow process. So it can take from the beginning, from the initial uh, request from an application requester in an organization and end user. Um, take that request in to IT. IT can assign uh, different people to work on that uh, workflow request, that, that re application request through the workflow process, and it tracks the whole process from, from the initial request all the way through distribution. So if an organization has a lot of people in IT that are working on uh, packaging, testing, fixing, remediating, virtualization, and so forth, uh, we can uh, help them uh, track the whole process for each individual application through the whole um, beginning to end cycle. So this is kind of our, our overview of what Admin Studio, the base Admin Studio includes. So we've got our application catalog and reporting. Our application catalog is the SQL database where all the uh, metadata, if you will, of all the information about the, your packages gets stored. It can be organized, can be grouped into different areas. Um, especially on the higher end versions of Admin Studio, multiple people using Admin Studio can connect to that same catalog. And a lot of the uh, work that's done on packages um, can be shared among different organizations and different parts around the country or even around the world. So if you have uh, somebody in the UK working on a package and repackaging it, testing it, and fixing it, and that same software is also used in the states, uh, they don't have to, um, the states don't, don't have to, in essence, redo all the work all over again. They can use what the leverage the existing work that, you, uh, that the UK team used, as an example. So it's got MSI repackaging, can pack applications that aren't already in the MSI or the Windows installer format, get them into a clean MSI be able to customize that and be able to directly edit those with our Install Shield Editor tool that's inside of Admin Studio, be able to resolve conflicts between applications. So for example, if you've got two different versions of the same driver going to the System32 directory or different uh, values going to the registry key, those are some examples where you can try to install two applications on the same machine, one's going to break the other one. So we can actually help you detect those type of conflicts and resolve them and fix them automatically before uh, any kind of rollout is done. We have some QA testing so we can do a, a trial rollout of an application on a machine and run the application and find out if there's any issues with it and be able to report that back um, and uh, use that information to fix it before, again, we actually do the full rollout of the application to your end users. And then we have release preparation where you can deploy out these applications that you've worked through this process and pass them up to distribution systems that include Microsoft System Center Configuration Manager, Novell Zenworks, Marimba, Tivoli, uh, a lot of other distribution systems out there as well. And through all this, you can see we can you know, centralize the management reporting, and you can know exactly what your applications are at, uh, be able to uh, automate the approach of repackaging, um, reliable deployments, and be able to just have a, an environment that you know is solid and it's going to work uh, right out of the box before you even deploy it versus trying to deploy and then put out the fires after the fact. So our application compatibility pack adds on some additional features so we can, like I said before, we can test applications uh, and assess them to see what they're going to, uh, how they're going to perform on Windows 7, both 32 and 64-bit, Server 2008, 
Um, and we can test these applications and tell you know what issues there are. If you if you try to install this application on the on these end machines, uh, would it install properly? And also, would the application itself run properly? And if not, what type of issues would come up? And a lot of times, we can we can give you we can give you reporting off this information to, to give you that that in depth information. Uh, but also, a lot of times, we can fix these issues as well. So the most common issues that are you know maybe have a tweak to the installation or to add some additional files like. Maybe it's missing a, a manifest file for the uh, user account control that can often have a problem with applications that weren't designed for Windows 7. Sometimes it's just a security issue. A lot of times we can fix those and apply a fix and create that fix automatically for you. So not only can we identify the issues, but a lot of times automatically fix those for you too. And it's an overall process that's going, that's continuously going. Uh, I think uh, an IT, IDT study found that uh, every year, 30% of applications in an organization are being revisited for updating, patching, fixing, testing. So this is an overall process that's not only a one-time um, solution for the short term, but also a longer term solution as new applications come in, as new versions come in, as uh, new platforms come out. This is always something that's, um, that's going through and uh, organizations having to constantly look at over and over again. And you can see at the bottom uh, we can fix of the issues that we can identify. Usually about 90-80% of issues we can fix uh, through this tool. So the, the window that IT organizations usually have to spend testing applications instead of manually installing an application one at a time on a machine and trying to install it, trying to run it, finding errors and backtracking and figure out what those errors mean. Within a few minutes you can load your applications in our compatibility pack and uh, be able to tell you uh, what issues there are and a lot of times automatically fix those issues. So you can get off, get to user acceptance testing a lot faster. Our virtualization pack adds a lot of uh, capabilities to Admin Studio as well, of course. So we can do virtualization suitability testing. We can test applications to see if they're good candidates for virtualization. As much as some organizations would love to virtualize every application they have, just not every, just because of the virtualization technologies out there, not every application can be virtualized. So we can tell you right up front before you ever try to go through the virtualization process, we can tell you whether it's a good candidate for virtualization or not. And uh, a lot of that time savings is just identifying those applications that are not good candidates and putting those off to the side and determining, you know, maybe we deploy these locally versus virtualization. We can do automatic conversion of applications, so we can take in uh, MSIs, but also other virtual packages, and running it through our automated process, we can automatically create um, uh, Microsoft App V, uh, VMware ThinApp, and Citrix ZenApp uh, packages uh, for you through the tool, um, and determining the, the type of application, we can do that by just reading the MSI and mapping it directly into those virtualization formats, or we have a framework around which we can automate the process of spinning up virtual machines repackaging those first and getting them into the virtualization format after that point. Like I mentioned, we can do some testing and do conflict uh, testing. We can also do some conflict and validation testing after the fact, especially with AppV. We can actually tell you if uh, there's any issues with the AppV package once it's created. And that's either through using Admin Studio or if you use the native Microsoft sequencer for AppV. We can tell you if there's any issues with that package, as well as conflicts with other virtual packages. You know, application virtualization is supposed to solve uh, application conflicts, and, the, and for the most part it does, but you could detect, potentially have conflicts even between virtual applications, and we can detect those. Uh, we have an AppV package editor, so we can actually directly open an AppV package and open it directly and make changes to it. Uh, it's something that even Microsoft has for their t solution, so that's something that uh, saves a lot of time for a lot of people. We can find uh, components and uh, add those to a virtual package if uh, that uh, virtual application needs it. And we have a dashboard report that can clearly show you all this information and uh, provide you with a, uh, a quick and easy way to see how many packages are in what format, which applications are good candidates for which of the three virtualization standards we support. So some applications may work well with one virtualization standard than another, and we can give you that uh, real-time test, and we can give you a lot of other information through our dashboard report as well. Workflow Manager is that other a fourth piece that we have within our application readiness uh, umbrella. So there's a Workflow Manager. You've got external users. Um, they're submitting requests, uh, giving uh, IT organization installation instructions and, and reporting. So instead of having to call up IT uh, organization or send them uh, several emails to go through the process, 
uh, you can, they can all be submitted through Workflow Manager, and Workflow Manager makes sure that those end users are submitting the exact amount of data that the IT organization needs. So IT, when they're setting up Workflow Manager, they can determine uh, what, uh, how many screens there are with uh, different questions they're asked, which ones are required, which is optional. So instead of having emails going back and forth trying to figure out, try to get all the information extracted from the end user manually, they can have Workflow Manager right up front tell them, this is the information I need. If you don't submit this information, your request can't be uh, put forward. So, and that can all be customizable by the uh, end IT organization. So we've got an application manager. A lot of times they want to know and see where different applications are in the process and you know how many application requests are out there, where are they, what, what uh, uh, phase or, or uh, part of the, uh, the cycle are they in, um, be able to get real-time reports on where those applications are and get reporting off of that. And then, of course, packagers. They know uh, what you know, application managers can assign uh, work to different packagers and other you know, testers and customizers and users. Uh, that are that are involved in this IT process. So uh, managers can assign work to different people and share the load out among different uh, workers if there's several different people in different uh, roles. And uh, packagers know, and the other people that are working on this know exactly you know what they have on their plate, what's being worked on, what's been assigned to them, how much time they have to work on a certain item, and so forth. And through all this process back and forth, uh, Workflow Manager can have different emails going back and forth, um, submitting, uh, telling the, each of the people involved, from the end users to the managers and, and the people working on this, uh, where a package is in the process, what, who needs to work on what, when, and so forth. And again, the Workflow Manager works with our application catalog, which is what Admin Studio uses, has all the information about the packages, history, uh, security of who, who has access to what within the catalog, uh, the conflict database between applications, all that uh, managed uh, and can be worked shared with between Admin Studio and Workflow Manager. All right, so I think we have time for a quick demonstration of Admin Studio, and um, so we'll go into that uh, into that now. So I have Admin Studio here. This is Admin Studio Enterprise Complete. So this has uh, the full version of Admin Studio with all the uh, both the application compatibility and virtualization packs added onto it. This is the start page. Uh, so it helps the uh, end user to figure out what uh, how they go, how they proceed with Admin Studio. So on the first page, you see what is your goal. So we have three major goals that we can help you accomplish with. Of course, you've, you, once you set up the infrastructure that Admin Studio uses, uh, you can accomplish these three goals uh, up here. So on the far right, this is what Admin Studio has had since the beginning for the last 10 years or so since we've been around for Admin Studio as our um, Windows installer or MSI repackaging. So we can repackage applications, get them into the Windows installer format, be able to customize that, be able to test those uh, against conflicts and best practices, and then push them out for uh, regular distribution. And in the middle, we have our application virtualization support. We can, again, that's where we can test packages, see if they're good candidates for application virtualization, and uh, be able to create the, the a virtual application in one of the three formats from Microsoft, VMware, and Citrix. And you could do multiple formats at the same time if you want to as well. And then we have our application compatibility, which is where this is where we're testing applications for Windows 7, 32, and 64 bit, Server 2008, as well as IE8 testing. And we will have IE9 testing in the next few months. Um, I think a lot of organizations are still moving up to IE8 at the moment. But we'll have an update for IE9 in the next uh, few months. So you can click on one of these goals, and it takes you to an overall generic uh, workflow uh, that show you what, what the process would be. So at first, you'd uh, uh, repackage these applications. And we have a diagram for each of the tools within Admin Studio. We have our repackager here. It kind of it shows you an example of what we would take in legacy executables and, and, and up for different script type installations. So we would actually run these installations with our repackager running in the background. We would capture uh, what these installations are doing, and then we would be able to create a project from this. Uh, we, uh, the end user could review the details and see what was captured by running through this process, files, registry keys, shortcuts, INI changes, and all that can be then encapsulated 
and, and an MSI can be created out of it or a Windows installer package. So we can take a legacy uh, executable or a script-based installer, it's not an MSI, and by capturing this we can go ahead and take this information and create an MSI from this. The next bit would be being able to edit those packages once you create them. And so the editor tool inside of Admin Studio, as I mentioned before, uh, is Install Shield. So this is the same tool we sell uh, direct us through the channel uh, to software companies that use that use the Install Shield to package up their software initially uh, to send out to end customers. And the uh, Admin Studio user has the same Install Shield tool uh, as the editor, so they can use this to make new installations uh, from scratch if they have new uh, software that they're uh, designing and, and need a, an installation around, but they can also use this to make changes to uh, an installation that they created through the repackager. They could also use this to make what's called a transform file. So if uh, an IT shop is taking in software and the software is in the MSI format already, usually we wouldn't repackage those, you would create what's called a transform file. So you can open an MSI up through Install Shield. you can make changes to it, uh, add custom actions and advanced configuration and changing, and you can either save that back to the MSI, or like I said, if it's an MSI uh, originally, you probably would save those changes in what's called a transform file. So now if this MSI is deployed out with this transform file applied, it's uh, got all these changes uh, that you created with the Install Shield tool. After the editing would be the testing phase, and that's where our application catalog comes into play. So this becomes our, this is our basically our test bench on which we're doing all of our testing and remediation of applications uh, for conflicts between them, between one another. So you load in your MSIs, OS snapshots, merge modules, patches, transforms. We can load in virtual packages, the three formats that we create. It can also be loaded in the catalog here. You can organize them into different groups. This is kind of a commercial example, uh, but government and education, we have a lot of those customers as well. They, they can organize their catalog, whatever they see fit. So if it's a university, they can or organize it by college or department. Um, you know, government organization by different groups or offices or, or sub-agencies. Uh, you can create whatever groupings that you want within this. So the like application manager, uh, like I said, they've got some applications here loaded. This is an example of what an application catalog will look like. And loading, clicking on this would load up the dashboard report uh, within Admin Studio. And this gives me that real-time view of what applications uh, are in my catalog, uh, what format they're in uh, for virtualization, which applications are good candidates for virtualization, which ones aren't, which ones have already been virtualized. We also can get a snapshot view into our um, applications uh, that are, are good candidates for Windows 7 as well. So we can pull that all from, um, from one report. This will just take another second to load or so. There we go. So the dashboard report. So this tells me how many applications I have in what format, be them MSIs or virtual packages. Here you can see of applications that are good candidates for uh, Windows 7. So I've got some applications that are already good to go that don't have any issues. I have some that have fixable issues. So we can drill into these reports. Same thing with App V virtualization readiness. We have some other reporting as well that can drill into more application compatibility and virtualization readiness testing too. If I can drill in and for example, say for AppV, you can see some applications are not ready, not good candidates for, for virtualization. I can drill into this and get more information. So for example, this version of BlackBerry has a whole lot of device drivers. Device drivers don't work well with application virtualization with AppV or either, uh, any of the other virtualization formats either. So we're telling you right up front, this is not a good candidate for virtualization. I wouldn't try to virtualize this because it's not going to work well with AppV or any of the other uh, formats we create. So again, here's some of the time savings that you can save time and not have to uh, spend time trying to virtualize these packages. You can know right up front uh, whether it's a good candidate. And for those that aren't, um, you know, find out alternate methods to uh, deploy these applications as the virtual application virtualization isn't the, uh, isn't the best um, uh, deployment mechanism for that. So going back to the start page, when we've got virtualization, that's one of the other goals that we have. So that, this goal here is we take in packages from the catalog. Uh, typically, it would load MSIs into the catalog. We could also take in legacy applications. We could identify which applications are good candidates. As you saw, that report tells you which applications are 
a good candidates for virtualization and which ones are not. And then we can actually go through the process of actually virtualizing. So the tool, main tool within uh, Admin Studio that we would go ahead and create virtual packages would be what we call our Automated Application Converter, or AAC for short. So these applications we can take in from different areas like um, uh, local folder or network share. We can actually pull packages from SCCM, so we can connect, connect to SCCM, take packages, pull them from um, SCCM, and load them into the tool. We can also, of course, pull packages from our application catalog as well. And then we can load them in the process here. If they're an MSI, we can tell you if, uh, if it's a good candidate for virtualization, as we saw uh, earlier, uh, which applications are good candidates or not. So the BlackBerry, for example, would be a not suitable application. Um, if it's got an MSI that's got, a virtual, uh, that's got scripting or other custom actions, we'll, we'll need to repackage those. Same thing with if it's not an MSI. So if we take in an EXE or Batch or PowerShell or VB script install, and then we can run through for those MSIs that are straightforward, we can convert those directly. For those that we can't, we can go ahead and spin up virtual machines that automate the process and create uh, virtual uh, packages that way. So whether it doesn't really matter what format they have their uh, installation packages in, they can um, repackage those and get those into a virtual format uh, through this tool. And it also leads to our, our last, our application compatibility um, testing. So that's another goal that we have here. You load our compatibility solver tool, and this is the tool where we can test applications. You load them into the tool. We can run them against a series of tests for Windows 7, 64-bit, uh, Server 2008. Uh, we also do Internet Explorer testing, as I mentioned before. We can see which applications are good candidates. It labels each application basically kind of like a traffic light, uh, yet red, yellow, or green. If it's green, that means it's already good to go for that test and doesn't need any additional remediation or, or fixing. If it's yellow, that has an issue with the, uh, that particular test, uh, say Windows 7 or 64-bit, but we can fix those yellow issues automatically through the tool. And then finally, we have red issues. Those are the uh, issues that are usually more serious, have to do with how the application itself was written. So for example, a 16-bit driver is found in an application and you're trying to deploy to a 64-bit machine. 16-bit drivers don't run on 64-bit platforms. Uh, we can't automatically fix that issue, but we can tell you which package has, the, has those issues down to the actual file itself. So we can identify that uh, product A in, in has driver uh, 1, that's a 16-bit driver, and uh, if you're testing it for 64-bit, we can flag those and let you know about that ahead of time. All right. With that, I turn it back over to uh, to Jerry. Uh, thanks, Mike. Uh, so what I'd like to do is sort of uh, take a step back and uh, give you guys a better understanding of uh, who buys uh, Admin Studio and why they buy it. So uh, as you can well imagine after Mike's uh, uh, overview of it, uh, it's uh, Admin Studio is a far-reaching uh, tool and part of a larger solution that uh, is appropriate across all vertical markets. Uh, you know, it appeals to uh, your small, mid, and large size company IT departments uh, for uh, the primary reason of being able to enable them to uh, come up with a reliable means of application and patch testing and deployment. Um, your standard person who uh, really seeks to take advantage of Admin Studio, who, who buys Admin Studio, is your corporate IT systems manager. And uh, the people who, uh, in the end, end up using it are your IT technicians and the engineers who are, in fact, tasked with taking these applications and reconfiguring them uh, for deployment into a large enterprise. Uh, buying triggers, uh, without a doubt, the largest compelling event here is an OS migration like moving to Windows 7. Uh, you also have other organizations who are implementing or using virtualization technologies such as Microsoft's AppV, Citrix ZenApp, or uh, VMware's ThinApp. And um, you also have uh, other organizations that are growing, uh, be it either uh, by just sheer internal growth or through acquisition. Uh, they're interested in uh, coming up with uh, a way of managing the, the new technologies that they're taking on, 
perhaps it's presenting them with a mix of technologies and they don't know how to really uh, work everything together or perhaps they're just growing to the point where they're considering a, a large a software distribution system. Uh, Admin Studio has a very, very strong play in this uh, area. Uh, and in light of the, the scope and the reach of our application readiness solution here, I'd like to sort of present you with this slide. Um, keep in mind Windows 7 being the largest uh, single event that leads people to uh, Admin Studio. Uh, this slide that we're looking at now, the circle, uh, think of it in terms of everything that needs to be factored in in order to properly plan and execute a Windows 7 migration. Now we've broken out uh, some of our um, fields here to uh, include uh, people who are in organizations that have uh, products that not entirely meet the entire scope of the Windows 7 migration. Uh, you know, we, we have uh, the planning stage down to the right, the assessment uh, compatibility stage up there in uh, the upper right, fixing and packaging, then deployment. If you look at everybody who's listed here, not everybody plays or even comes close to encapsulating that entire spectrum. There's no single end-to-end -end solution out there uh, outside of Admin Studio and the Admin Studio suite. This is an end-to-end -end solution that will help anybody who's even in the early stages of considering a Windows 7 migration to properly plan and execute it. It's a one-stop shop, if you will. Now, just to give you an idea of the pricing that's involved, so uh, we have uh, three editions for Admin Studio, Standard, Professional, and Enterprise. And you can see uh, all the lists, uh, the prices that are listed here are all regular MSRP. There's no maintenance worked into the pricing uh, that you see before you. However, keep in mind that uh, we do have maintenance plans that are available. Uh, you can figure in maybe an additional uh, 20 to 25 percent in terms of additional costs if uh, any end user would be uh, interested in adding a maintenance plan to their uh, product purchase. Uh, starts out uh, as low as uh, 2,499, goes up to as much as 20,999 uh, for Admin Studio Enter Enterprise uh, Complete. Um, the licensing model. Um, typically, the licensing model for Admin Studio offered through the channel is the per admin or single user, single machine. Uh, it's readily available through the channel. It's probably uh, the more uh, popular uh, licensing model out there. Uh, another form of licensing is the per desktop, uh, which is essentially uh, multiple users, multiple, multiple uh, machines. And what I would suggest is if you have a large organization uh, that is, in, is showing growth that has uh, many people who need to be packaging all at the same time, uh, this is a a licensing model that would be a good fit. You know, these are just the general characteristics that lead some people to consider the desktop model over the per admin model. Uh, desktop model uh, allows for many users on many different machines uh, working together. Um, if you need pricing, if you have a uh, end user in mind, give me a call. I'll be happy to uh, uh, work with you on this. It's not something that's typically available due to the fact that it's it's a little bit more tricky in terms of positioning it and uh, getting, uh, it requires us to have a better understanding of the end user's environment. Um, I'd like to take the time to maybe open up uh, the remaining amount of time we have here for any questions that may uh, be floating around out there in the uh, listener world. Um, my name is Jerry King. I'm the channel manager uh, for the Americas and APAC. Uh, lifeboat distribution, uh, very, very knowledgeable. Um, please, if anybody has uh, any questions whatsoever about what it is that we've been talking about here today, feel free to ask. Thanks, Jerry and Mike. That was a great presentation. We don't have any questions from the panelists as of right now, so I'm going to move to the call to action, and if any questions do come up, you can um, submit them on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, and we can go back to those, or you can always get in touch with your Lifeboat sales rep, and we can help with those as well. 
Um, to get further information on Flexera Admin Studio, we encourage you to visit the Flexera website by going to flexerasoftware.com. You'll find great pages for Admin Studio where you can find additional information or download a trial version. Jerry King is also a great resource who can answer your questions about working with Flexera. And any of the Lifeboat sales executives are always available to help for obtaining product information, demos and trials, pricing, and pre-sales assistance. Uh, we hope that you found today's presentation valuable. Flexera is a truly great company to partner with. They have a superb team ready, willing, and able to help you grow your deals and your business. So I encourage you to introduce Admin Studio to your customers. Thank you all again for attending today's presentation. Once again, it was a pleasure for Lifeboat Distribution to be a part of today's event, and we hope we will hear from each of you soon. For everyone at Lifeboat Distribution and Flexera, thank you and have a great day.